the Lord's brought everybody here, I think, who, who he wants here. Uh, everybody's here. Well, there's, there's people who aren't here who want to be here. So we get, we got a lot of prayer requests. Um, there, is some, there is sickness and illness and all sorts of stuff that's running around the church, uh, running around the world. Um, we want to pray for Brother Scrutman's mom. Obviously, she's in, in critical condition. He's gone up there to Jacksonville to be with her. So we, we, she needs your prayers, and that family needs your prayers. Uh, they trust they trusted the Lord all their lives. So they, they, he's not going to fail them now, so we want to pray for them. Um, I got a text from Sister Lisa. Uh, Brother John's mom has fallen again, and so she's with her. So we want to pray for her for that situation. Um, there's a lot of challenges that come with the aging process. Uh, we all know that, uh, but God is faithful. He, he's going to get us through these things. Uh, the challenge for us uh, is to be a witness to the world. If you look around you, you're going to see a lot of people that are afraid, fearful for their lives because of this coronavirus. Uh, and, and a lot of those people are afraid because they really don't know where to turn to. They really don't have a lot of hope uh, outside of this world. But we do, and as Christians, we've got to live a way, in a way that they see us. And they can see a strength in the world and a hope in the world because we do have a hope beyond this world. Um, so we're going to pray for those. There's, there's some who are, there's a lot who are sick. Sister Sandy's still sick. Some are sick who are here. Some are sick who are still home. So we've got a lot to pray about. Um, but the Lord is faithful. He hears the prayers of his people and he responds in the right way. Uh, we can always trust in him. There's a couple of announcements. I want to remind everybody uh, that this Saturday night about 2 a.m., turn your clocks back. Or turn it back before you go to bed Saturday night, so you'd be ready to go to church. Turn it forward, excuse me, I'm sorry, straight forward, we're going to lose an hour of sleep. But it's going to be lighter when we get out of church, so it'll be okay. Uh, thank you, Sister Renee, for keeping me straight. Um, this, uh, we're going to, again, Lord willing, we're going to be in revival through Friday with Brother Bowling. Love to have him here, love the word he's been preaching. Uh, a week from this Friday, the 13th, uh, at 6 p.m., there's going to be a men's fellowship dinner at uh, as far as I know, it's still on. And I don't think we were supposed to bring anything except ourselves and our appetite, I believe. I haven't heard anything else. Um, if there is, they'll, they'll let us know. Um, and I wanted to, there's a verse that goes along with what I talked about, with, with the fear that's in this world. Uh, the psalmist in Psalm 91 said, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High will abide under the shadow of the Almighty. He says, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge. My, and my fortress, my God, in him will I trust. So that's what we've got to show to this world. When, when, when troubles come, uh, when trials come, when sorrows come, we need to look to the Lord uh, to be our help, to be our fortress, to be our strength. When we don't have the strength, he's got all the strength that we need. Just turn to him uh, in faith. So uh, we're going to go ahead and pray and open the service up. Father, we thank you, Lord, so much for, for this wonderful day, Lord, for all that you've done for us and the people all that you've done for this church, Lord, all that you've done for this world, Father, by Jesus Christ and by his great sacrifice on our behalf. Lord, we pray for your anointing on the service tonight, Lord, that you touch and anoint the, the music and the songs and the preaching and the praying. Father, that you touch all those who are sick in their bodies, Lord, we are looking for you to be a healer and a restorer, not the one who brings health to, to your church and to your body. Father, if we can't trust in you, Lord, I don't know who we can trust in, but Lord, I know. And that we, if we place our trust in you, we will not be ashamed. So, Father, we invite you into this place tonight. Lord, we just ask that you anoint every aspect, that you let your presence, Lord, fill this sanctuary uh, as it did in the days of old. Lord, and we'll praise you for all that you've done. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, we're going to sing some congregations if y'all feel like standing up. We're going to be singing out of our songs we love to sing. A couple familiar ones. The first one is page 147. Glory to his name. Glory. He is worthy of any glory and praise that we can give to him. He has been given a name above every name.
anybody join preaching the prayer bowl. We don't want to give him big head, but we want to give him honor. He's a lot of honor too. He's been, he's been preaching the word to us. He's been touching our hearts. The Lord's been giving him something to say to the church, and we just got to hear it. Uh, so let's support him, support the church in our, in our gifts and our tithes and our offerings. We can have a couple of ushers come up. We can go ahead and take, take up the offering. Hallelujah. Thank you, Brother Kevin. Father, we do want to thank you, Lord, so much for, for bringing the bowlings uh, our way, Lord. They're precious people, and Lord, they're, they're faithful servants, Lord, on the field, battlefield. Lord, we just want to support the work that they're doing here, Lord. I believe they're preaching the Word of God. We want to see souls saved, the church strengthened and edified, dear Lord, and to see your name uh, in glory at all times. So, Father, we just pray that you'll touch these offerings that you, you're, we're going to give, Lord, that you'll bless them, that you'll multiply them, you'll use them, Lord. To bring glory and honor to yes. our Lord Jesus Christ. For we pray in his precious name. Amen. <coughs> Special singers tonight. So, Sister Taylor, you ready? Come on. Praise the Lord.
Lord. If we're, if we're willing, He'll change us. And he doesn't want us the way we were. He has a plan for the way He wants us to be. I forgot one very important announcement, too, before the service. So at Friday, we're going to have a memorial service to Sister Ruby Hendricks at 1 p.m. Is that right, Sister Scott? 1 p.m. at the church, and then there's, they're going to feed the family afterwards. So let's remember that family, Brother George especially in prayer. Uh, you know, it, it, just because someone's saved, it doesn't make it easier to, 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 to see them go home. But it's still, you know, still the family needs comfort. People suffer loss, and, and they're a lot better off than we are down here. So we want to remember that family in prayer, do whatever we can to help them out and, and get them through this, this tough time. myself away I give myself away so you can use me I give myself away I give myself away so you can use me here I am here I stand Lord, my life is in your hands. Lord, I'm longing to see your desires revealed in me. I give myself away. I give myself away so you can use me. I give myself away. I give myself away so you can use me. Take my heart, take my life as a living sacrifice. All my dreams, all my plans. Lord, I place them in your hands. I give myself away. I give myself away so you can use me. I give myself away. I give myself away so you can use me. Take my heart, take my life as a living sacrifice. All my dreams and all my plans, Lord, I place them in your hands. I give myself away. myself away so you can use me. I give myself away. I give myself away so you can use me. My life is not my own. To you I belong. I give myself, I give myself to you. Oh, my my own to you I belong I give myself I give myself to you I give myself away I give myself away so you can use me I give myself away I give myself away so you can use me. I'm going to sing in the second verse one time. It's easy to sing a song and, and not really mean what you sing. And this is hard. You know, so, some of these things are hard for us. 
when I say, Lord, all my dreams, all my plans, you know, they, they mean something to me. They mean something to you. And it's hard at times to say, Lord, I, let your will be done in my life. But we got to do that if we want to be, if we want to live the right life. If we want to be successful for Him, for His kingdom. We've got to be willing to really give ourselves away. Not to sing about it, but to do it. Take my heart. Take my life as a living sacrifice. All my dreams, all my plans, Lord, I place them in your hands. Give myself away. Give myself away so you can use me. Give myself away. Give myself away so you can use me. My life is not my own. To you I belong. I give myself, I give myself to you. Lord, my life is not my own. To you I belong. I give myself, I give myself to you. Give myself away. Give myself away so you can use me. Give myself away. Give myself away so you can use me. Do what the Lord has given you. God bless you tonight, Jesus. Amen. Amen. What a privilege to be in the house of the Lord. Praise God. The devil don't have everybody, does he? He's got some, but he don't have everybody. Amen. I'm glad to be in the church. Yes, Last day. Serving the Lord. Going on for God. And uh, people are so lost out here today. It's, it's terrible. They're so blind. I don't know if I get it on or not. Here? Yes. All right, good, thank you. Amen. People are so blind today and so lost. And uh, if you happen to be running late on Sunday morning to church, amen, or you're going to get here right on time, you'll see more cars and driveways than they will be gone. Because Sunday morning they, they don't go. They're, they're lost. And it's so sad. Yeah, but it's got to the time where people, there is so much counseling, so much teaching, so much uh, conversation that you don't have to repent, you don't have to go to church. And so there's people who think they're all right when they're not. And it's a sad day. But I'm glad to be in the church by the precious blood of Jesus. Amen. Only way to heaven is the Lord. Yes. Amen. If God be for us, who can be against us? If somebody is, it don't matter. Amen. Just so God is for us. Praise God. Well, we miss the preachers tonight. And uh, we're... Uh, Hoping they'll, they'll be back tomorrow night, Lord willing. And we need to still pray for uh, Brother Spratlin's mother, of course. Yes. And trust God for good things. Right. Right. Amen. He's a healer. Amen. Way maker. Yes. Can do anything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to stand with that. Go on for God. Amen. Yes. I want my wife to testify. Appreciate her. Amen. She was 17, almost 18 when we got married. 
I was 21. Oh my. She was the youngest in the family and so was I. She was a little more spoiled than I was. But we really had a great time of starting out uh, in marriage and going on. I'd already been evangelized in three years. And uh, then I found her. Amen. One of the best things of my life. Jesus is first. Then uh, she's, she's not a spare rib. She's the prime rib. Amen. Praise God. Amen. All right, testify there, if you're able. What do I say? Better brag on Jesus. Well, I appreciate the Lord. I'm glad that He is faithful. In all the 44 years that we've been married, He has been faithful. Yeah. He has been my friend. He's been. He's been everything. That I've ever needed. Uh, when I got married and and we started evangelizing, just in a few days, um, I didn't go back home to mom when my heart, my feelings were hurt or my heart was broke or I was upset. The Lord was my stead, and I'm, I'm so glad that He can be whatever you need Him to be at that moment, at that time. And he has been faithful. He is my shepherd. He has been my healer. He's been my encourager. He's been everything that I've ever desired. And I didn't get everything that I wanted, but I got what I needed. And I'm so glad that he has always been faithful to me. And um, we started young. And there's, uh, you know, you grow up really fast when you are in the ministry and, and, you're, and you're with people all the time. And your life totally changes. I was a very sheltered girl at home. I, my mother was very protective of me and, and I appreciate that. I really do. And I didn't go into the world and do things of the world. I got saved when I was 13. And I cherish that. I, I'm so glad that my life was spared. A lot of things that some people have to go through. And I, I appreciate him. I'm glad to be here. appreciate everyone in this church, how kind you are, what you've done so far. Brothers and sisters, Bratlin have been so cordial and taking good care of us, and I'm so glad for God's people because you are our family. Yeah. Uh, when we're not with ours, you are our family. Our son is 40, lives in San Antonio. I see him twice a year and only a few times each time. And I miss him. You know, he's a part of us. But uh, the Lord has helped me and, and protected my heart against hurt and disappointment. He's not living what he should live for the Lord, but I have my trust in the Lord that he's going to save me and yes. bring me back. I know he's able. I know he can. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, the Bible yes. promised us. The Lord promised us our children. Yes. And he didn't give them to us for us to give them away. Right. That's right. He gave them to us to keep. And I appreciate yes. that. I appreciate every promise he's ever given me. I'm so glad to be here. Amen. Praise God. I'm just going to have me preach tonight. Amen. Amen. John chapter 19, one verse, verse 30. St. John, New Testament, fourth book, chapter 19, verse 30. Jesus is on Calvary. Jesus is on a cross. Jesus has nails in his hands. When Jesus therefore had received the vinegar, he said, It is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. Yes, yes. Amen. I want to preach a little while here tonight on Jesus' assignment. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, love you tonight. God, praising you for the victory. Thanking you, Lord, that you've never forsaken us. You've always been there. We can carry on in the faith. You are over us, presiding and residing in us. 
We are your children. Thank you, Lord, for bleeding for us. Given your life, anoint me tonight, direct and guide us, O oh God. So we can say it's been good to be in your house. In the name of Jesus, meet needs, I pray. Amen. You may be seated. Jesus Christ left his throne for one mission that was to save us, to spare us, to keep us out of hell. Jesus left the throne room of glory, came down to this earth that we might have life. Amen. He became a hundred percent man and was yet a hundred percent God. He did what nobody else could do. The Bible said he laid down his life, give himself for us. If it hadn't taken, he had to take on the human flesh. Amen. Had he not done it, he could not have died. Ever since they killed God, he killed that animal for Adam and Eve. Amen. To cover their bodies, to give them life. That's what it's happened when Jesus Christ gave himself. He stripped down from glory. Amen. And came to earth. Praise God. And we are the children of God tonight. We have been born twice. Amen. Once on earth and once from the heaven. Praise God. You remember Adam and or Abraham and Isaac climbing that mountain. Amen. They had the fire. They had the knife. They had the rope. They had the wood. Amen. But Isaac said, Dad, if we're going to sacrifice, where is the lamb? It was not in the bag. It was not in their arms. I wonder sometimes have we overlooked the Lamb of God? Amen. It's impossible to have church without the Lamb. It's impossible to cry out to God without the Lamb. And so Abraham told his only son, God will provide himself a lamb himself he says I'm the lamb I'm the son of God amen and the word provide is a compound word the word pro amen means before amen he said God will provide he will before and then vide is where we get our word video. So God saw it before it happened. And he said, God will, before it ever happens, provide and let it come to pass. God knows our future and steps early into our life and helps us. He was the lamb slain before the foundations of the world. When he was word back in eternity, he knew that he was going to have to come and bleed and die. God already had started the rescue mission for us. For God will provide himself a lamb. Think about it. On the cross, it sounds like Jesus is giving up. He says, it is finished. He didn't mean that it is over. He didn't mean that I've had enough. He wasn't saying I can't take any more. He wasn't describing that I am through. <laughs> Amen. The word finished in the Greek means it is completed. Yeah. It is stay 
missionary. It's an indicative, or it is something that is so real that it cannot be imaginary. It's not something that we're cooking up a story about. It's not a play that's going to happen or a drama. It means it's real. It's genuine. And it was also a perfect tense, which means it happened in the past and it continues in the present. Yes, he died, but he didn't stay dead. Yes, he bled, and he come back alive. Jesus' assignment was greater than all of ours, amen. He was the sacrificial lamb for the world that whosoever believeth in him will not have to perish. Can you say amen? Amen. Jesus didn't say it like the great apostle Paul. I have finished my course. I kept the faith. Amen. He didn't say it like I finished my course. Jesus said it is finished. It is complete. Amen. Luke says in 2 and 49, Wist ye not that I must be about my father's business? I've got to carry on, he was saying. John 8, 38, before Abraham was, I am. Amen. 10 and 30, I am my father and we are one. Amen. He makes the statement that no one else can make. His father has given him an assignment. His father has given him a sheet. Amen. To go by an order. Amen. A diagram. His father has given him a fulfilled will yes. to take on. Yes. And Jesus to his disciples said, I am meat that you know not of. Right. Right. Amen. Right. I have stuff that doesn't consist in the hog or the cow or the rabbit or the squirrel. Amen. He said in the scripture, Jesus must come Amen. From the root of Jesse and the stem of David. And when Jesus looked at that divine sheet, the orders from his father, amen, and he seen that root of Jesse and stem of David, he checked it off. When he saw that divine sheet, and it said, must be born in Bethlehem, he checked it off. When he read on that sheet, where it said, baptized in Jordan, he checked it off. When he read where he would be led in the wilderness to be tempted, of the devil, he checked it off. When he read where it would be forsaken, his own kindred and his own family, he checked it off. He followed the directions to the letter. My question tonight to us, are we following our assignment? Are we following the orders from headquarters? Are we following the diagram of God for our life? Say amen. Amen. When Jesus said, it is finished, he had fulfilled the mission given. Not only was Jesus work finished, but the devil's was finished. Right. Amen. Hey, man. The devil has to take a back seat. The devil has been limited. Yes. Satan lost his authority yes. at Calvary. Satan now is just a roaring lion. Yes. He don't even have any more teeth to rip us apart. The Bible said Jesus 
has all power in his hand. All Satan can do is put his eyes on it. All the devil can do is what you allow him to do. He cannot cross the bloodline from the royal family of the seed of the Father upon high that came through the virgin birth into the Son of God. Paul said, we would have come, but Satan hindered us. All he can do is hinder us. He can bug us. He can frustrate us. He can intimidate us. But he cannot overpower us as long as we're hid in the blood of Jesus. Amen. Isaiah said, by his stripes, by the beating of his back, by the gashes in his flesh, with the cat and nine tails, with pieces of steel and bone, they ripped his back by his stripes. Isaiah prophesied in 59, amen, and nine. Praise God. We are already healed. We all already paid for. It's already been prophesied. And when he cried, it is finished. Amen. The spear had not been riven in his side yet. When he cried out on that cross, across Jerusalem, outside the gates, on a lonely gray hill, and said, it is finished. He hadn't been buried yet. He had not, amen, arose from the grave yet. When it turned dark for three hours and the birds went back to the roost and graves were opened up, amen, that's when he paid the ransom for our salvation. Had it not been for the old rugged cross, had it not been for the old rugged cross, where would we be tonight? Say amen. The race is already ran. Finished means also not just complete, but it means I have won. Yes. Hallelujah. Like crossing in a race, the finish line. I have won. Yes. It is finished. Seven wounds in his body. The perfect number of an almighty God throughout the scriptures. Nails in his hand bleeding what one would think he's trapped. He can't get away. He's going to bleed to death. Nails in his hand. He's a winner. Amen. Spikes in his feet for he cannot run away or get away. But that was a sign that he had won. Praise God. Thorns on his head two inches long crushed down into a skull like he's not going to be able to think right or do right. But that was a sign that he's a winner. Praise God. That spear in his side where the Bible said came out blood and water. That was a proof that he was a winner. Amen. The spit running down his face mixed with the perspiration, the sweat, and the dust from the road. Amen. Was a sign I have won. Can you say amen? In life for you and I, yeah, man. You have to wait until the game is over, till the whistle is blown, until the quarter runs out, until the second half is through, before you can shout the victory. Amen. But as soon as you repented of your sins and cried out the blood, 
You are a winner. You are saved. You are brought out. The blood of Jesus puts us in the winner's circle. Saved by the bell. Soon as you cry out, save me, Jesus, I believe in you, Lord, I repent. That's right. You cross the finish line. Yes. It puts you in the supernatural bowl. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Oh, you may look defeated. You may appear down sometimes as Christians in this walk and in this life. But the Bible said, weeping may endure for a night. But joy yes. coming yes. in the morning. Yes. Woo! Oh, Jesus God. died, Amen. but he didn't stay dead. Oh, yes. Amen. I said Jesus died, yes. but he did not stay dead. He arose. Yes. Hallelujah. He arose. take a back seat. Poor old devil. He was cursed to the ground like a snake. Poor old devil. He got dehorned by the Son of God when he went down there and snatched the keys of death and hell out of his hand. And the devil don't even have the keys to his own house tonight. Aren't you glad that Satan does not have the final say. Aren't you glad that the devil cannot pin the outcome of your life? Aren't you happy that the author and finisher of our faith is not the devil? Amen. Jesus writes amen all the chapters of our life. That's why Paul said notwithstanding the Lord stood with me. Yes. Jesus died, but he didn't stay dead. Right. <sighs> Jesus' assignment has put a bridle on that devil. Help me with a song here tonight, somebody. Amen. Jesus' assignment has set boundaries on that rascal, yes. the devil. Yes. Jesus' assignment Humble Casa has put a limit on what he can do and cannot do. That devil's got a short leash on his neck. Woo! Praise God. It is finished. Praise God. Make the devil a defeated foe. Amen. Jesus' assignment wrote history in advance. And it put an end for the devil. Right. Yeah. Jesus' assignment, when he said it is finished, put a chain on that devil. Woo! Oh, put a pit made for him. And a lake of fire is recorded. Praise God. Let's stand up right now and glorify the Lord. Oh, we love you. Sing it for me.